Domine, nel longe faccia salsidium tuum a me, a defensione me mastice, libera me de ore leonis et a cornibus uniconium humilitate me. Deus Deus me es respice in me, quare me redere le pisti, longe a salute me e verba delitorum meorum. Domine, nel longe faccia salsidium tuum a me, a defensione me mastice, Libera me de ore leonis, et a cornibus unicornium humilitatem meam. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Christe eleison, Christe eleison, Christe eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Dominus vobiscum, et cum spirito tuo, Omnipotent sempiteri des qui umano genere ad imitandum humilitatis exemplum, salvatorem nostrum canum sumere crucium subire fecisti. Concede propitius, ulte patientia ipsius aperi documenta et resurrectionis consortia meriamo. Periundum dominum nostrum iesum Christum filium tum, qui tecum vivitet regni ant in unitate spiritu sancti Deus, per omnia secula ad seculorum. Amen. Lectio Epistele Beati Paule Apostoli ad Filipenses. Brethren, your attitude must be Christ's attitude. He was of divine condition, yet he did not greedily cling to equality of status with God, but emptied himself, taking the condition of a slave. Though being born in the likeness of men, he was known as a man human in form, and in that state he humbled himself, obediently accepting even death, yes, death on a cross. Because of this, God in turn exalted him above all else, and bestowed on him that name which is above every other name, whose dignity requires that at the mention of Jesus' name, Every knee must bend throughout the earth and under, on the earth and under the earth, and every tongue proclaim to the glory of God the Father, Jesus Christ is Lord. Eratius. Tenuisti manum dexter mea et in voluntate tua deduxisti. 
Ik kom gloria as in sisti me, quam bona sister at eus rectis corte, me autem pene mortis un pedes. Pene a fusis un cresus me, quid te labi precatoribus, facem precatorum tibenis. Deus, Deus, me est respice in me, quare merit dere requisti. Longe a salute me, verbe delitorum me orum. Deus, me est clamabo petiem nec exaudies in nocte, et non in insipientia mihi. Tu atem in sancto habitas lausis er, in te speraverum patres nostri, speraverum te liberasti Deus. At te clamaverum te salvi fractison, in te speraverum te non sunt confusi. Ego atem sunt vermis et non homo, o proprio nominum et abiectio plebis, Omnes qui videbant me, asper labant me, locuti sunt labis et moverum caput. Speravit in Domino edi piateo, salvum faciateo quoniam vulteo, ipsi vel consideraverunt et inspexerunt me, diviserunt sibi vestimenta sua, et super vestim me miserunt sorte. Libera me de ore leonis et acornibus unicornium omilitante meo, qui timetis domnum laudate eo, universum semeniaco magnificante eo, annuncia abitu domino generatio ventura, et annuncia abun celi justitia meus. Popolo qui nascetur quem fecit domino. Passio Domini Nostri, Iesu Christi, Secundum Matteo. At that time, Jesus went with his disciples to a place called Gethsemane. Sit down here, he said to his disciples, while I go over there and pray. But he took along Peter and Zebedee's two sons, and he began to experience sorrow and distress. Then he said to them, My heart is near breaking with sorrow. Remain here and stay awake with me. He advanced a little and fell prostrate in prayer. O oh, my Father, if it is possible, let this cup pass me by. Still let it be as you will, not as I will. When he returned to his disciples, he found them asleep. He said to Peter, So you could not stay awake with me even one hour. Stay awake and pray that you may not be subject to the trial. The spirit may be eager, but human nature is weak. Going back yet a second time, he began to pray. O oh, my Father, if this cannot pass me by without my drinking it, may your will be done. Once again, he found them asleep on his return, for they could not keep their eyes open. Again, he left them and withdrew and began to pray a third time, saying the same words once more. Finally, he returned to his disciples and said to them, Still asleep? Still enjoying your rest? See, the hour is upon us, in which the Son of Man is handed over into the power of evil. Get up, let us be on our way. Look, my betrayer is here. While he was still speaking, suddenly Judas, one of the twelve, arrived, accompanied by a great crowd with swords and clubs, sent by the chief priests and elders of the people. Now his betrayer had arranged to give them a signal, saying, The man I shall kiss is the one, arrest him. And immediately he went over to Jesus and said, Good evening, Rabbi, and kissed him. But Jesus said to him, Do what you are here for, my friend. At that moment they stepped forward, laid hands on Jesus, and arrested him. But suddenly one of those accompanying Jesus put his hand to his sword, drew it, and slashed at the high priest's slave, cutting off his ear. Then Jesus said to him, Put back your sword where it belongs. Those who use the sword are destroyed by the sword. Or do you think that I cannot appeal to my Father to put more than twelve legions of angels at my immediate service? But then how could the scriptures be fulfilled, which state that it must happen in this way? In that same hour, Jesus said to the crowd, 
you have come out to seize me, armed with swords and clubs, as if against a bandit. Daily I sat teaching in the temple precincts, yet you never arrested me. Still, this has all happened in order that the writings of the prophets may be fulfilled. Then all the disciples deserted him and fled. Those who had arrested Jesus led him off to Caiaphas the high priest, where the scribes and elders were convened. Peter was following him at a distance as far as the high priest's palace. Going inside, he sat down with the temple police to see them see the outcome. The chief priests with the whole Sanhedrin were busy trying to obtain false testimony against Jesus so that they might put him to death. However, they discovered none, although many false witnesses took the stand, until two men finally came forward. They stated, This man has declared, I can destroy God's sanctuary and rebuild it in three days. The high priest rose to his feet and addressed him. Have you no answer to what these men testify against you? But Jesus remained silent. So the high priest said to him, I order you to tell us under oath before the living God whether you are the Messiah, the Son of God. Jesus answered, As you say, Still I tell you that very soon you will see the Son of Man seated at the right hand of, of the power and coming on the clouds of heaven. At this the high priest tore his robes. He has blasphemed, he declared. What further need do we have of witnesses? Remember, you have now heard the blasphemy. What is your opinion? They replied, He deserves death. Then they began to spit in his face and to hit him, and others slapped him, saying, Play the prophet for us, O Messiah. Who is it that struck you? Now Peter was sitting in the courtyard when one of the servant girls came over to him and said, You too were with Jesus the Galilean, but he denied it in front of everybody. I don't know what you are talking about. When he went out to the gate, another girl saw him and said to those nearby, this man was with Jesus the Nazarene. Again he denied it with an oath. I don't know the fellow. A little later the bystanders came over to Pilate and said, Obviously you are one of them. Why, even your accent gives you away. Then he began to curse and swear. I don't even know the fellow. Just then a cock crowed and Peter remembered the prediction Jesus had made. Before the cock crows she will three times disown him. He went outside and wept bitterly. At daybreak, all the chief priests and the elders of the people hatched a plot against Jesus to put him to death. So they bound him and led him away and handed him over to the governor Pilate. Then Jesus, who had handed him over, saw that he had been condemned and began to regret his action. He took the thirty pieces of silver back to the chief priests and elders, saying, I did wrong to hand over an innocent man. But they retorted, What's that to us? That's your responsibility. So he flung the money into the sanctuary and left. He went off and hanged himself. But the chief priests picked up the silver with the remark, it is not right to deposit this in the temple treasury since it is blood money. So after consultation, they used it to buy the potter's field as a cemetery for foreigners. That is why that field, even today, is called blood field. Then what was said through Jeremiah the prophet was fulfilled. They took the thirty pieces of silver, the value of a man with a price on his head, a price set by the Israelites, and then they paid it out for the potter's field, just as the Lord had commanded him. Now Jesus was arraigned before the governor who interrogated him. Are you the king of the Jews? As you say, Jesus answered. Yet when he was accused by the chief priests and elders, he made no reply. Then Pilate said to him, Surely you hear how many charges they are bringing against you. Still he did not answer him on a single account, much to the governor's surprise. Now on the occasion of a festival, the governor was accustomed to release one prisoner whom the crowd would designate. At that time they had a notorious prisoner whose name was Barabbas. So since they were already assembled, Pilate said to them, Which one do you wish me to release for you, Barabbas or Jesus? the so-called Messiah. He knew, of course, that it was out of jealousy that they had handed him over. While he was still presiding on the bench, his wife sent him a message. Do not interfere with that holy man. I had a dream about him today, which has greatly upset me. 
Meanwhile, the chief priests and the elders convinced the crowds that they should ask for Barabbas and have Jesus put to death. So when the governor asked them, which one do you wish me to release to you? They said, Barabbas. Pilate said to them, then what am I to do with Jesus, the so-called Messiah? Have him crucified, they all cried. But he said, why, what crime has he committed? They only shouted the louder, have him crucified. Pilate finally realized that he was making no impression, but that instead a riot was starting. Calling for water, he washed his hands in front of the crowd and declared, I am innocent of this holy man's blood. It is your responsibility. Then the whole people said in reply, Let his blood be upon us and on our children. At that he released Barabbas to them. But after scourging Jesus, he handed him over to be crucified. Then the governor's soldiers took Jesus in charge to the praetorium and collected the whole cohort around him. They stripped off his clothes and wrapped a scarlet military cloak about him. Weaving a crown of thorns, they fixed it on his head and stuck a reed in his right hand. They began to mock him by genuflecting before him and saying, All hail, King of the Jews! And they spat at him. They snatched the reed and kept striking him on the head. Then when they had finished mocking him, they stripped him of the cloak, dressed him in his own clothes and led him off to crucifixion. Now as they were there marching out, they met a Cyrenian called Simon, this man they pressed into service to carry the cross. Upon arriving at a place called Golgotha, a name which means place of the skull, they gave him a drink of wine flavoured with gall, but on tasting it he refused to drink. When they had crucified him, they divided his garments by rolling dice. Then they sat down there and kept watch over him. Over his head they put a written notice of his offence. This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Next, two bandits were crucified with him, one at the right and one at the left. People going by kept insulting him, wagging their heads and saying, So you were going to destroy the sanctuary and rebuild it in three days. Now save yourself. Come down off that cross, if you are God's son. The chief priests, the scribes and the elders also joined in. Other men he saved, they jeered. Himself he cannot save. And he is king of Israel. Let him come down off that cross, and we'll put our faith in him. He relied on God. Let him deliver him, if he wants him. After all, he claims, I am God's son. In the same way, the bandits who had been crucified with him also kept taunting him. From noon onwards, darkness fell upon the whole earth, landing, lasting until mid-afternoon. Then, toward mid-afternoon, Jesus cried in a loud voice, Ela, Ela, lama sabachthani, that is my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? So some of the bystanders who heard it remarked, the fellow is invoking Elijah, and immediately one of their number ran off and got a sponge. He soaked it in sour wine and sticking it on a reed, he tried to make him drink. But the rest said, Leave him alone. Let's see whether Elijah comes to save him. Again, Jesus cried out in a loud voice and gave up his spirit. Suddenly the curtain of the sanctuary was torn in two from top to bottom. The earth quaked, boulders split, tombs opened, and many bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep were raised. After his resurrection they came forth from their tombs and entered the holy city and appeared to many people. Now the centurion and his men who were keeping watch over Jesus were terror stricken at the sight of the earthquake and these happenings, and they declared, It is clear this was God's son. They were present, many women looking on, many women looking on from a distance. They had followed Jesus from Galilee to attend to his needs. Among them were Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James and Joseph, and the mother of Zebedee's sons. When it grew dark, a wealthy man from Arimathea arrived, whose name was Joseph. 
He too was one of Jesus' disciples and had gone to Pilate to request the body of Jesus. Pilate then issued an order for its release. So taking the body, Jesus wrapped it in fresh linen and laid it in his own new tomb, which had been cut out of rock. Then he rolled a huge stone across the entrance of the tomb and went away. Last TV Christ name. So we have now entered through the portal into Holy Week. Palm Sunday begins the drama of the days which we call not only day by day but hour by hour, moment by moment, the events which brought about our salvation. Experienced this year in the very particular circumstances which have been imposed upon us all. No solemn blessing of the palms except in a cathedral church, no procession or, or even distribution of the palms in church. That whole aspect of today's drama at this Mass is only to be heard in the proper last Gospel, which replaces the more normal prologue of St John at the end of Mass. But something of that event, of course, overshadows today, and indeed this whole week. The fact that fickle human hearts were able, even in that moment, to acclaim Christ as King. Hoshana, they cried, please save us. It's a very heart-rending cry when we talk about Jesus being triumphantly acclaimed on Palm Sunday, we have to remember it is salvation they asked for. That same Hoshana, Hosanna, as it passes into Latin and therefore into English, is of course in the heart of every Mass, the Sanctus, the last prayer or chant before the holiest part of the Mass, canon, the consecration, that part of the Mass which makes the sacrifice of Calvary present to us and thus present across distances of space and time to the sacrifice which brings about our salvation. In that moment we cry out to God, please save us. And I think perhaps this year, more than ever, that acclamation echoes in our hearts. We've had the experience of the world being shut down very rapidly. Just a few short weeks ago, most of the world was going about its business, unaware of the fact that soon things would come to an end. And in many ways, life as we have known it, up to now has, at least for the present time, been suspended. There's a real opportunity in all of this for us to see our lives as they truly are in the light of eternity and to cry out without reserve, please save us. Credo in unum Deum Pacem Omnipotent in Fratorem Celi et Tere Visibilium Omnium et Invisibilium, et in unum Domnum Iesum Christum Filium Dei Unigenitum, et ex Patre Natum Ante Omnia Secula, Deum de Deo Lumen de Lumine, Deum Verum de Deo Verum, Genitum non Fractum Consubstantia Alem Partica et Per Omnia Fracta Sunt, Qui Propter Nos Omnes et Propter Nostrum Salutem, Descendi de Celis, et incarnatus est et spiritus sanctus mania regina et domum factus est. Crucifixus et se antronobis, su poncio pilato passus et sepultus est, et resurrexitetia dies et punum scripturas, 
Let us shed it in Shannon, said it the rest of our parties. It eat her own mentor, says Pum Gloria, and you carry him the set motors. Who you said any not a rich things. Ed in spirit and sanct and dominant in Rippy Cantor. Quakes part her filly of her project. Qui pum part her filly of similar adorato from the Rippy Gato. We look good to says per prophetas. Et unam sancta catholica et apostolica mentesia. Confito unam baptism and remission in precatorum. Expecto resurrection in motorum. Et vitam venturi seculi. Dominus Fobiscu, et cum spirito tuo, oremus. Him propelium expectabit con rem et miseria, et sustinue quissimo mecum consistareto, et non fuit consolatem et quesigi, et non in veni, et deverent in escam meum fer, et in siti meum potaverent me atem.
Pater, si non potes te calix transire, nisi vivam illum fiat voluntas tua.
Dominus Vobisco. Ecum Spirito Tuo. Oremus. Per Buius Domine, Operazione Misteri, Epizia Nostra Corgento, E Giusta Desideria Compleanto, Per Dominum Nostrum Iesum Christum Filium Tuo, Vitecum Vivit et Veni, Ante Nunitante Spirito Senti Deus, Per Omnia Secula Secula. Dominus Vobiscum, et cum spiritu tuo, benedictamus Dominum, Deo gratias. Benedictat vos omnipotens Deus, Pater et Filius et Spiritus Sanctus. Amen. Dominus Vobiscum, et cum spiritu tuo, sequentia sancti evangelii secundum Matteo, gloria in tibi Domine. At that time, as they drew near Jerusalem and entered Bethpage on the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent off two disciples, telling them, Go into the village straight ahead of you and you will immediately find a donkey tethered and her colt with her. Untie her and lead them back to me. And if anyone says anything to you, say, The Lord needs them. Then he will let them go at once. This happened to fulfill what was said through the prophet. Tell the daughter of Zion, See your king comes to you in all gentleness, astride a donkey and a colt, the foal of a draught animal. So the disciples went and did just as Jesus had ordered them to do. They brought the donkey and the colt and laid their cloaks on them. Then he sat on them. The huge crowd spread their cloaks on the road, while some of them began to cut branches from trees and spread them on the road. The group preceding him, as well as those following, kept crying out, Hosanna to the Son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Thus do we please him. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this veil of tears. Turn them, most gracious advocate, thy eyes of mercy towards us. And now to this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray, O God, our refuge and our strength, with God in mercy on thy people, who cry to thee, and by the intercession of the glorious and immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of God, of St. Joseph, the spouse of thy blessed apostle, Peter and Paul, and of all the saints. In mercy and goodness, hear our prayers for the conversion of sins, and for the liberty and exaltation of our Holy Mother, the Church, and the Saint Christ our Lord. Amen. Holy Michael, Archangel, defend us in battle, be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast down to hell Satan, and all the evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. 